It appears my wife does not want the abortion. This is how I got banned from the children place at the McDonald's. This is my plan to get rid of those damn kids at the Walmart. Welcome back to Top 10 News. I'm your host, Nick Gerbit, and today we'll be talking about Dem COVID 19s. Big poop. <laughs> Now the first thing we're going to discuss is something that's on everybody's minds. Number one, how will the COVID vaccines be distributed globally? Now honestly, this is a question that's been on so many people's minds they started drinking bleach. Last year this virus flipped the world upside down and we had a forced lockdown and major changes to our society. We promised that in a year's time there'd be a vaccine and what we predicted came to pass. But now that the COVID vaccines have been created, there's only a matter of time before the release into the world. At this moment, there's only about 1.5 billion vaccines that have actually been given out. This number could have skyrocketed if people actually went out to get the vaccine and not be such a little bit. But the fact is, many countries sadly do not have access to the vaccine, so it's important we get this out globally as quick as possible. But the question remains. How? Which brings us to our next topic, number 67, distributing the vaccines in different demographics. According to the CDC, there are certain people who are kind of bad at defending themselves against the virus. Kinda of weak in my opinion. So in order to keep these taxpayers to keep giving us money, we need to make sure we prioritize them first. An example of this would be back in the first stage of vaccination, where Americans were only given out the vaccine if they were healthcare workers or the baby boomers. Hashtag, I love my grandpa. On to the next topic of discussion. Number 15. Burger King foot la Getting the public to accept the vaccine. While we should be focusing on how we will get the vaccine to everyone, the whole point of this vaccine is to achieve herd immunity. And yet, there are many Americans who refuse or cannot obtain the vaccine, which are due to many different factors. When distributing the vaccine globally, we need to make sure it can be available to everyone and enough people will actually take it. Certain factors that could prevent someone from getting the vaccine could be health concerns, poverty, or the rise of the anti-vax movement. I hate anti-vaxxers. I hate Karen. Welcome back to Nick's fun fact of the day. Did you know that giving Roberto Suarez an A on this assignment will make him a very happy man? And if you didn't give him an A on this assignment, then that will make him very sad. Big B. Come on, Mr. C. I know you don't want to see a frown on this face. No, no. Now back to our regularly scabby schedule program. Now on to our last point of discussion. Number 6.9. Getting all the countries to chip in. We've gone through many different factors of this very broad topic, but the one thing we have to make sure, if we're all gonna get rid of this damn virus, we need to work together. Like I said before, not all countries have access to this vaccine. Africa is one big example. They make up 20% of the world's need for COVID virus vaccines, but only have 1% in production. And frankly, it's up to bigger countries like the US to chip in to make sure we can actually end this pandemic. In recent news, the president of France have actually pledged to help the production of COVID vaccines in Africa. But yet, even though it sounds simple, there are even many factors preventing us from working together. Some of these factors include corruption of government in second and third world countries. Also due to the fact that COVID production is purely based on a private sector, which means companies producing the vaccines are more in it for the money and not for the common good of the people. This is one of the reasons there was such a rush to push the vaccines in America, which led to poor regulation. Johnson Johnson is an example of this when distribution of the vaccines was put to a halt due to the concerns of blood cults in women. And because of greed, companies are incentive to give the vaccine to wealthier countries rather than help evenly. This makes the poorer countries more reliant on other countries' help. 
not to mention the conflict of interest between nano and BRIC countries, which makes working together rather problematic. Not to mention legitimate health reasons and something about, um, a microchip. So yes, right now it is very important that we get the vaccine to every person globally, but due to these many factors, it makes it very difficult for us to accomplish this. The simple solution would be for us to all work together, but it seems like we can't even get through that. In my opinion, Nick G, I think if we just put all the greed aside and think about the common good for the future generations of the human race, we could get this vaccine to everyone, quit the stupid rivalry between countries, and get the world back to normal. Because frankly, I missed out on my quince. And that, that kinda hurt. But don't take it from just me, take it from these randos on the street I interviewed. Hello, and welcome to Channel 69 News. You're at the mall. Welcome the civilians to Top 10 News. Today I'll be asking you a quick question. You don't even know how to tie a tie correctly, so you're using a <laughs> Civilian, <laughs> civilian, <laughs> shut up. Uh, did you know Will speaks better Spanish than you, Bruh. Hello, you are on Top 10 News. Today I'll be asking you a very simple question. You, yeah. you seem like introverts. How do you, how do you feel? Shut the. F You're making this so much harder than it needs to be. How do you feel? That was a failure. Well, folks, it seems like that's all the time we have for today. I have been, damn it. This has been top ten news, and I've been your host. Nick Gerbit. Stay safe, get vaccinated, and give Roberto an A+. I will see you all again very soon. And cut! Thank God! Oh my lord, that was so boring. You know what? We need something more controversial. David, tomorrow we're talking about abortions. Fuck that bitch, try with the on it. Uh-uh, that put the free on it. If it's about money, then we on it. Water on my neck, you can ski on it. You can't unt all these dollars with the heat on it. I was laying in my bed while she dreamed on it. Man, I touched that thing back with my knee on it.